Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this video. I'm actually, I'm going to uh, do a quick screen share with you as well here. Let me just get that up for you. So you can see I'm a real person. Let me just get that. Where is it? Here we go. So now you can see me. <laughs> I'll just put this up for a couple of minutes as we got some really important points I want to cover. So I just finished uh, a two and a half hour coaching session with my members. So we had a hundred odd of our regular coaching members in the room. And today we're talking about targets and setting goals, etc. And we're talking about how what actually happens. Most people overestimate what they can achieve in a year and they underestimate what they can achieve over five years. And we're just talking about goal setting. What's a realistic goal as far as um, income as a day trader and how quickly can you get there? So I want to go through a couple of charts on the PowerPoint. Then I'll switch it off and then we'll look at the charts and some marked up charts of, of potential trade entries for today. None of these are rocket science. Now, I know what the uh, the those with a fixed mindset will say when we go to a chart, I could never do that or that you couldn't get in on that trade entry. The only reason these setups don't work, traders, is if the market's moving that quickly and then you change your time frame. So if you're a super skeptical person, may as well stop watching the video now. But on the other hand, if you've got a lot of passion about learning how to day trade and master the art of day trading, please grab a pen and paper because we're going to go through some real ideas that will make a, a massive difference. So as I do get underway, I do need to put up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade with the rent money. Make sure you get the right education. Now, whether or not it be with me or not, it really doesn't matter. Financially, I'm okay. All right. But the big thing here is I want to teach you and give you the ideas and strategies that you can actually use. Now, for the experienced traders watching this right now, you know, I promise you, I'll give you some ideas. You'll be able to go, wow, I can improve what I'm already doing. And as I say to uh, all of my members, and about 70% of them are experienced traders, is that what you do, you say to yourself, okay, what Ray is teaching? How can I use it to improve what I'm already doing? If you're a brand new trader, or if you're uh, perhaps been struggling with the trading, I've got a fantastic solution for you. First of all, you need to consider this as a minimum of 30 days if you start with one setup, because I'm going to show you a number of setups. Okay, but if you start with one, but really treat it as a 90 to 180 day internship, that's the way you really achieve success in this business. Now, very quickly, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I should actually say, first of all, you should download my free training manual. So please click on the link below uh, or visit my website. And just very, very quick advertisement, then I'll move on. For $197 traders, you receive all of my indicators. Uh, there's over 150. I think there's actually over 300 videos now. Uh, uh, basically, everything's included for $197. If you wish, you can attend my live coaching programs. We've got uh, about 50 professional traders attended every week. Uh, it's peanuts. The investment is tiny in comparison what you will learn. But uh, go to my website. You'll receive more information. You're not going to have a telemarketer ring you up or anything like that. It's up to you to take action if you wish. But one thing, I do this full time. And so that's a massive difference. Um, uh, I train full time, I trade full time, and I'm a researcher and I love what I'm doing. And yes, you know what? You can have people say the strategies don't work. You know, the only time an idea won't work is if you're not willing to do the work. Unfortunately, so many traders looking for the quick fix, they want to go and pick up the magic indicator that will put them in and out of trades immediately. They're not willing to lay the foundation. That's the difference traders between the pros and the ones that we take money out of the accounts of 90% of the traders. Why? Because they're not willing to do the work. I suppose you can see I'm on my bit of a high horse this morning just because we were just discussing about the attitude of so many traders. Now they're just not willing to lay the foundation. Let's move on. So what we're about to do now is go into the actual PowerPoint that I was covering with my members. And I'm going to quickly go through some of these slides because I think you'll find it useful. Some of the information we were talking about 
as far as targets go, et cetera. So now I've got the advertisement. Uh, this is what we went to with my members. So here's what we covered. How to target 1,000 to 10,000 a week day trading. This is uh, a realistic target and you need to have a daily and a weekly target. And it all depends, of course, on your the account size, your risk level, etc. So some of these we won't have time to really drill down on. But the number one thing, first of all, is to start setting some goals. Trading is a business. And this is where, once again, trade is not willing to lay the foundation, but it's so important. So you may remember um, uh, Curly out of the great movie City Slickers, and uh, I call this now Curly's Law. And in that movie, he turned around and said to one of the actors, what's that one thing? It's something you've got to find out. The one thing in mastering the art of day trading and to hitting these sorts of profit targets that we're talking about is trading with the trend. You can take your counter trend trades, your divergence trades as you move along with your trading. But the number one thing is to master just one or two trend trades. That's all you've got to do is master one or two and have three or four good trades a day. That's all you need to make a great deal of money in this business. The fact is though, traders are impatient. They haven't developed the discipline and the patience. And that's the, the essential thing with what we do. Now, as far as goal setting goes, there's a fantastic book by uh, um, Mike Bellafore, who runs a prop firm, SMB Capital, out of New York. And uh, he talks about with his traders, he has what we call, and we've got it as well for our traders, uh, called a daily report card. And in there, he talks about his traders only having one major goal a month to achieve. So the number one thing that I say to all my traders, what is that number one goal? that you've got each month. If you set too many goals, you become distracted and you suffer from what we call decision fatigue. So in the end, this is not me. This is uh, just something I found on the internet, but it's something that we use uh, with our coaching members and with our general members that five by five, yes, I can. Three by eight, yes, I can. It's a mantra that we have, meaning five by five, 50, five $50 net trades. This is a scalpers, as day traders, and three by 80 a day. That will net you over 400 a day. And the big thing is to get in the mindset of being patient and patiently, confidently waiting for that setup. Unfortunately, for most of us and, and for the human uh, species in general, uh, we're hunters. We want to go out there and hunt. But what we've got to learn to do is to become snipers, to sit back and wait for our prey. And likewise, we do the same with our trading. And this is my mantra on my wall. And this is what I recommend all traders do is they set up their goals or they set up their key posters on their wall to remind them what they do. I'm patient, I'm disciplined, I'm focused, I'm a sniper. One shot, one kill. You don't need a lot of trades to succeed. In fact, if you're a day trader, and at the, at the end of this slide set, before we go to the live charts, uh, we're going to have a look at how we can achieve larger profit targets because one of the challenges is that you can get in the cycle of just scalping all the time, but you miss out on those really good runners. So I'm going to be giving you a couple of ideas on how to go for those runners. So five by five, if you're trading CL, okay, that's $10 a tick and it doesn't matter what I'm covering here is applicable whether you trade stocks, futures or Forex, all of my setups are doesn't really matter. In actual fact, um, Richard Dennis from the famed Turtle said, if he ever found a market where his strategies did not work on or one of his strategies, he wouldn't trade that market. So your strategy should be generic and should work on any market. Yes, you may need to change the time frame, but the principles are the same. So here, five by five, that's if we scalp what we call our 34s. We usually have to five to seven ticks. 225 after commissions. Uh, if you're, say, trading the ES, it'd be five, four tick trades a day. And then the two Bs, which you will see, you'll see they, they go for, for a deeper pullback. Um, you'll get a, a larger move, easily get your eight ticks. That's over $400 a day per contract. That's the overall objective. So we're generally going for 600 to get a 400 net. That, that's what you want to be doing. Now, 
what if you don't have the required amount to get there? And what I mean by that, you need to have the account size. Well, thankfully now, of course, you can trade the micro E-mini and with the ES, that's $1.25 a tick, $5 a point, $20 a day. And I'll show you what this uh, sheet means in a moment. But of course, if you're trading, say, micro Forex, you can do the same thing. So on the right hand side here, you can see here we've got, assuming that you need $600 per contract. And what your contract value comes down, it doesn't matter whether you're trading ES, gold or anything, it comes down to your risk. We never ever want to risk any more than 2%. So therefore, if you're risking, say $12 on a trade, okay, there you'd need $600. Or if you're risking on trading the ES, a maximum of $120 a trade, you need to have $6,000. If it's $100, you need to have $5,000. Now, what we're going here and saying, what if we achieved $20 a day? Or if you were trading the ES, $200 a day. But let's focus on this chart. If you started off with $600 and you achieved just $20 a day, and when you got up to $1,200, you started trading two contracts. When you get up to $1,800, you start trading three contracts. Within, how many weeks have we got there? Within 16 weeks, on just $20 a day, you've got 5,000, you can start trading the big contract. Because even though there's some great benefits on the micros, overall, statistically, the commissions, um, uh, as far as mathematically, work out to be a fair bit more. But they're a great spot to start. On the other hand, uh, if you start off with, say, 5,000 in your account, on $100 a day, Within, where are we here? Within about um, eight, within 36 weeks, you're earning 10,000 a week. That's only $100 a day. And every time you increase your account by 5,000, you start trading another contract. As you improve your skill set, you then achieve 200 a day. What that means is within 16 weeks, you have a potential of earning 10,000 a week. What it in the end really comes down to it's not how big is the market. You'll see I've capped this out at 100 contracts because if, as a scalper, and if you're scalping, there is realistically, there is a limitation to how many you can um, use market orders or limit orders on without getting a lot of slippage. However, what the, the, the big thing that holds traders back here is their belief, whether or not they can do it. So in the end, to start achieving this, and I'll, I'll scroll this on a little bit further in a moment, it really comes down to developing the confidence and the competence with your setups. Now, what if you achieve 300 a day per contract, which is a very realistic target? 300 a day within their um, six weeks, sorry, within nine weeks, you're up to 10,000 a week. Very simply, starting off with 5,000, you, you increase it to 10, you start trading two contracts. Every time you increase by 5,000, you trade an additional contract. And just the last one here, 400, and you can just see here with 400, you're up to earning uh, 10,000 a week in about week seven. That is the true potential if you trade correctly. Unfortunately, so many traders are now not willing to put the time in to master their setups. But of course, you can master these setups by using a simulator. You don't even have to risk real cash immediately. Then you can go to your micros or your mini accounts and build from there. These are the steps that you can make. But what would it mean to you to be earning an extra five to $10,000 a week? For 99.9% .9 of the population, I know some of you can't live on 10,000 a week, but for the majority of you, it would mean financial independence for life. This is what you can do with trading if you're willing to put the work into it. So very quickly, a couple of things. This is something that we've got uh, with our members is let's scalp the crap out of it, scalping. Okay, so you're going for, uh, with your two Bs, and I'll show you what they are in a moment, three trades a day by six ticks, that's 225. CL, if you're trading CL, Three trades, three trades a day, that's um, uh, 240. And so you're over 400 a day or 200 per market. When you first start, you only want to be trading one market, get that right, because you've got your scalp. So you can be earning 400 a day per market with the scalps and with your 
large emu. So I won't go through all of that here, but some of the things as we go, and let's just see here, as we in a moment go to the charts, I'll be showing you how you can scalp, but you can also be really going for some of those larger profit targets. And we do that by using some of these, uh, by trailing, by targeting our floor pivots, our previous swing highs and lows, uh, using an ATR stop works brilliantly. So you can use an ATR stop or uh, on some platform that's known as a volatility stop or even the parabolic SAR, Wells Wilder parabolic SAR. You just need to adjust it so it's not so wide, okay? Because you don't want to, say, be going for 10, 12 ticks and give back six ticks before it crosses back over. Uh, uh, that's where also Heikinashi can be fantastic. There's a lot of ways that we can, or a lot of techniques or ideas or strategies that we can implement to actually help us go for those larger targets. Now, let's have a look at the charts. So what I want to show you here is a couple of ideas on how to achieve your two to $400 a day per contract. Now, it doesn't matter which market it is. And for this exercise here, and let me just remove this EMA. There we go. Um, it doesn't matter which market you're trading or which type of chart. Here, I'm using a Renko uh, four tick. Now, the, the larger the time frame, uh, the larger the stop. Now, right now, I'm, I'm recording this at 11.51 in my part of the world AM. And so it's the Globex session. So rather than trading with a four tick Renko, uh, you might use a two tick Renko. If you're trading the ES, you might end up using say a even a, a one or a two tick Renko. So it comes down to learning which are the right timeframes. But the important part is, is this, and it doesn't matter which part of the day, okay, we go and pick, all right? Because what I'm about to show you is applicable to all time frames and, and uh, <laughs> it really is virtually every day of the week. One thing that's important to me, and I won't go into it too much, but uh, what I want to have is a minimum of one time frame up. Okay, so I want to be uh, trading with an anchor chart, and I actually use two, but you can start off with one. Okay, so you start off with one anchor chart because what we want to be doing, traders, is trading in the direction of the overall trend. Now remember, what is our objective here? To earn two to four hundred dollars a day per contract we trade. What's the best way to do that? Initially for a brand new trader trading with the trend. Now, so let's go and have a look here. Let me expand this for now. So I've got a couple of, and there's with the time frames, two, seven, and 12, it doesn't matter. Um, we have a formula that we work to. So if uh, you'll say trading, let me just pull it up here. If you'll say trading a two tick Renko, you might use a two, four, seven, and 12. And there's reasons why we work on these different formulas. Now, if you're say trading a tick chart, which we're in the Globex session, and I love tick charts, a, tick, a combination of tick and Renko, because one of the disadvantages of Renko is it smooths out the price action, which is beautiful, but you can miss out on some really great uh, chart entries as well. So I'm going to turn the camera off because what it tends to do, I think somebody said it slows down the response rate. So what I'll do is I'll switch this off and let's just then look at the charts. So let's go back to this four and code and let me just expand this. So what we're looking for traders is trading with the trend. Now, each one of these steps on a four Renko is worth $20. So with a 2B and a 3B, these are trend following strategies. With my 34s, I'm after a minimum of five to six ticks. With my 2Bs, I'm after usually eight to 10 to 12 ticks per trade. Now, the big secret in trading is to understand the methodology of fanning of an EMA. Okay, when we start to see this EMA fan. Now, just to even point this out, here's a little tip I want to give you. See, this is what you call a 200 EMA overshoot and a pivot bounce. This uh, line here is a pivot. We come down, we get a bounce. 
Now, normally you'd look at that and say, oh yeah, what's so special about this move? It's, a, it's an overshoot. But I'll show you what's so special. This is a golden setup you want to take every single day. It's this. Look at your two higher time frames. You're bouncing on your major EMA and you're bouncing, this is what we call a 3B, uh, sorry, a 2B, my apologies. A golden, golden trade and good for 20, 30 ticks. Because when you start to look at the moves of those, they're fantastic moves. Now, you'll also then have other trades that start off as a 34 bounce, uh, also known as a rule of one. And let's just say you got in on the close of a second, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. That's a $200 move. That's right, $200. So if you're gonna start going for your larger targets, when you have these major EMA bounces, these are, these are the ones that you do it on. Now, where you see off a 2B, it started off as a 34 and it turned into a 2B. These are trades where you can then add to the position. But let's scroll along. Now, this is the secret, is taking these with the trend. Now, what a trader has to learn is this. After a major move, and you can see here this major rally, can you see that distance between there and there? This is what we call angulation. When you have a lot of angulation, it's a really good early sign that you're probably gonna have a major retracement, particularly when you bounce off a pivot level, as we are here, or off a round number. And that's where, we're on the oil chart here right now. That's where this is rather unique, because with oil, you'll look at the 57, the 80 cent, 50 and 20, they're major areas of support and resistance and you bounce all the time. We have a saying and it's called follow the gold. To so see my gold EMA there, if you're above the gold, you're looking for longs. If you're below, uh, there's an uptrending goal. If you're below it, you're looking for shorts. When you start to see your EMAs coming together, this is then what we call the danger zone. You don't have what we call a fanning of the EMAs. Now, looking at this, what is the bias of the market? Very simply, what we do is we look at our EMAs. Now, I'm displaying these all on one screen to make it easy for you. But when we look over at our anchor chart one, what we call the AC1 and the AC2, can you tell me what is the direction of the trend? Of course, we're in an uptrend on both of them. What is the bias of the market? We're in a long bias. Traders, how many trades net do you need to net your two to 400? Well, really only if I want to net my, my 200, and let's just remember what that means to us. Let's go back to this, okay? Let's go back to that. 200 a day gets me up to 10 grand a week, potentially within 16 weeks, so I follow the rule, and that is I'm only doubling the contract uh, after each, after I get another 5,000 in the account. Now, and just on that, your goal may be 2,000 a week and you're happy as a pig in poo. It could be 5,000. You know what, you might be like some of the young guns we've got, you know, they're after their 100,000 a week incomes. It's a matter of setting what also what you're comfortable with, but it's about having a goal. Now, getting back to this, if we go for our eight tick trade today, here we've got a 3B. Look at that, it's a $200 move. Now, that move there was only worth five ticks because the, a, we only get in on the third candle. That was only five, but my stop is one tick down below the low here. Now we achieve it, thank you very much, and so on and so forth. The secret with all of these is following the trend. Now, how do we do that? Well, we have five EMAs that we use. So we've got five major EMAs and we use our anchor charts to continue to trade with the trend. Yes, the CT trades kick up and they're very rules based on how we trade them. However, in your early days, remember Curly's law. What's that one thing? 
the one thing is to follow the major EMAs and only trade in the direction of the overall trend. Anyone can learn these concepts. Whether you like to trade, say, tick charts. If we have a quick look at a tick chart here, you could do exactly the same. And let me just uh, remove that EMA just there. If you like tick charts, you'll see they have a difference. And let me just show you with the tick and Renko next to each other, actually. So here we've got a tick chart. And here we got the Renko. Here is our beautiful entry just there. And we had the entry on the second candle. We had our 2B right there, and there's our 2B here as well. You can see here, it just smooths it out very, very nicely. And there's a way of using these where they both complement each other. Now traders, none of this is rocket science. It really isn't, except so many traders want to make this like brain surgery or heart surgery. They want to make it like rocket science. The secret is to minimize the indicators on your charts and be trading with the trend and to learn how to identify what constitutes a fanning of the EMAs and what constitutes the turn in the market. Now, that's where we come into it. We can train you in this. I'm not even going to pull up the testimonials because there's so many of them. Look, I've got hundreds of them now. But do you know why I still get traders say the strategies don't work? Now, let me ask you. Let's take this one. We enter here on the first candle. This is uh, that one there. We enter on the third because there's a reason for it. It's a deeper pullback and it's more rule. It's rules based and it says three. Here it's one. Traders, you can't get in any earlier on these trend trades. You're in on the close. All right, yes, you could say, okay, let's place a buy, a buy stop down here. All right, but we want confirmation the market's moving. The only thing where you'll lose on these is if you're entering always right at the end of the trend. And there's a rule there. After a divergence trade, you don't take these unless there is a rule. It's all rules based. Now, if you're entering on the close of a first candle, or over here, traders, you can't get in any earlier. You're trading on a retracement and pullback in the direction of the trend. It all comes down to market timing. If the market's moving too fast, you either increase the time frame you're trading. For an example, right now where we're in the Globex to the New York, there are differences, or you stand aside. It's a matter of trading with the trend. So I've really given you a lot of information very, very quickly, uh, traders. Now, the bottom line is most traders are not willing to do the work. Now, there, there are no holy grails as far as indicators go. And this is where, let me just, just show you this again. This is really important. Um, let me just go back to this. Is that in, in the background, you can see here, I have, this is only part of my library here. This is all trading. This is what I do. I'm a researcher. All right, and I've got hundreds of systems and I still got crap that this stuff doesn't work. If you look at what I give my, or what, what I have here, I'm gonna show you this. I have, and if you can see this on the screen, hundreds, hundreds of indicators, hundreds of them, that I've coded or purchased or invested in hundreds of them. What I'm showing you, there is nothing better. There is nothing better when it comes to day trading and do you know what? Simple works best. Uh, I get asked about EAs all the time uh, and automatic uh, trading strategies, automated strategies. Well, you still got uh, some major challenges with those traders. I've got them. Is that what happens when you enter a, um, a sideways market or a choppy market? You get chopped up. It's dangerous. So nothing beats the best computer in the, in, the, in the world, which is our mind, which is us recognizing the pattern. Because in the end, trading is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise. Everything I was showing you here, okay, like that one over on the left, we call that a bubble. Okay, very highly reliable pattern. Uh, that one here, that one there, that one there, they're patterns that you appear and you see in the market each and every day. And it's just a matter of learning the patterns. So traders have probably gone well over uh, time on this video. I just really wanted to get across 
I suppose I got all revved up in, in talking to my members today. And we we're just going through what the realistic profit targets are for our traders. And it's this, three to 400 a day per contract. That is the true potential. And that's trading with the trend and not sitting by a computer for six to eight hours at a time. Subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, you, YouTube, like, let me get, it's been a long day. Uh, also, uh, most importantly, come and join me as a day traders fast track member, uh, and you'll just see how comprehensive uh, my materials are, my training is. So thank you very much, traders.